To be fair, Ricardo did make some contact, uh, but I have to say, the ref lost consciousness very easily. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people always banging on about the environment, turning off your lights, help save the world. Bollocks! I tried it once, killed a cyclist. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're checking out some Simon Brodkin on Al Mori sketch show. I've done some Al Mori uh, stand up, which I really, really like. So, yeah, let's see what it's all about. Let's go. Be here with Jason Bent. Jason, great game, great goal. Are we going to finally see you put pen to paper on a new contract this week? Mark, I absolutely love this club. I've always said I'm desperate to stay. There's just no way I'd ever leave. But if I don't get exactly what I want, I'm fucking off. <laughs> So, this is all about wages. Not being greedy, all I'm asking for is shit loads more money. <laughs> See, there's no way I'd ever leave. But if I don't get exactly what I want, I'm fucking off. He sounds just like one footballer. I'm trying to think of the footballer. Oh, it's going to come to me. Who's that footballer? He sounds just like him. Let's continue. I'm going to come back to him. So, this is all about wages. Not being greedy, all I'm asking for is shit loads more money. <laughs> See, a footballer's career is very short. If I was to only earn what I'm on now for the rest of my career, I'd only get 56 million quid. <laughs> Are you one of the players who's given a week's wages to help nurses? You know, I visited a hospital last week, Mark. I know they say footballers are overpaid compared to nurses. Well, now I know why we had a kick around with them and their shit. Thanks, <laughs> Jason. Cheers. I've had a mental week. I got arrested for speeding 122 miles per hour in a car park <laughs> being given to IKEA in 4.4 seconds. <laughs> Coppers wanted to take away my licence. I was well lucky I didn't have one. <laughs> they give us me one phone call. I call the premium rate sex line. <laughs> Amber weren't happy about it at all. Oh, she hates me calling her at work. <laughs> I phoned 999 the other day. That's meant to be the emergency number, isn't it? They're meant to pick it up straight away. I was put on hold for 10 minutes. I couldn't believe it. I finally got through. I said to the bird, you are well lucky this is an hoax. Jason, <laughs> now. Jason, how did you see today's game? Well, it started off, then carried on, quick break in the middle, then it was over. <laughs> <laughs> Still no goals, though, from the big summer signing, Paulinho. Is he struggling to settle in? Not at all, Mark. Paul, he's coming from Brazil. He's settling in Greece. OK, he's not that keen on the weather, the food, the people, the language, the culture, the nightlife. <laughs> and the city itself, otherwise he loves it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a concern that some... I think, I think that's... Is it Jimmy Carragher? Is that a Scouser accent? Is that a Scouser accent? Let me know. I'm think I don't know why I'm getting Jimmy Carragher vibes. Even though football shop or Liverpool legend Jimmy Carragher. That's what I'm thinking of. But I could be wrong. There's some part where he sounds like Jimmy Carragher earlier. I'm like, the old, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go. But yeah, these footballers are just like human beings. You expect them to they're not they're not gonna be they cannot say what you want to hear. Deep down they're just thinking about, you know, oh I don't wanna listen to all this shite. But yeah, loving this. Sections of the crowd <laughs> booed the team off today. Doesn't bother us, Mark. Uh, the lads have always had a special relationship with the fans, especially with these two babes in the north stands, Abby and Michelle. Um, <laughs> you know us, Mark. We like our women like we like our coffee. Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the mood of my life. Me and Amber have just had our little boy christened. Yeah. We've done a posh and Bex and named him after where we've done it. Baby stairwell. <laughs> Changes your own life, doesn't it? I only got married because I've got Amber Fregas. Yes. Oh, we had to organise the wedding well quickly because I have got seriously powerful sperm. Me and Amber have been going out four weeks. Doc said she was already four months pregnant. <laughs> seriously powerful, isn't it? And apparently, I got mixed rice sperm. <laughs> <laughs> I got mixed race sperm. <laughs> That's not your kid, mate. It's not yours. It was mental. We went for an home delivery, which is good. You get a free garlic bread. <laughs> the midwife come round the ass, got Amber on the floor, stripped her off, gave her a load of drugs, told it wouldn't hurt. 
Oh, I pissed myself, because that is exactly how I got a Priggers. <laughs> You're here now with Jason Bent. Jason, that was a great game, but I think the central talking point is going to be that incident with the referee in the second half. Look, it's very heated out there today with the referee, and unfortunately, a few of the lads got carried away and punched and kicked him unconscious. <laughs> Um, I'm not condoning what they've... Sounds like Steven Gerrard as well. Of a double, even Jimmy Carragher. So it's like a mixture of Jimmy Carragher and Steven Gerrard talking. Sometimes I'm getting Steven Gerrard vibes, I'm getting Jimmy Carragher vibes. Like, yeah, let me know, please. Dumb, but it was hard throwing. <laughs> it seems that the... Uh, <laughs> seems that the incident was triggered when Ricardo headbutted the referee. <laughs> To be fair, Ricardo did make some contact, uh, but I have to say, the ref lost consciousness very easily. <laughs> Do you think it's time that modern technology needs to be brought into the game so we can replay these kind of controversial incidents? Personally speaking, absolutely. I'd love to see what we did to the ref over and over again. <laughs> Jason Bent, you're a role model for kids all over the world. Do you think this is really the way that Premiership footballers should behave? When the referee's a fucking prick like today, then yes. <laughs> Jason, thanks. Cheers. Oh, my gosh. It's well difficult being a dad. The government have made it illegal to smack your own kids. You've got to get a neighbour to do it. <laughs> I was up half the night with a little stairwell. She wouldn't stop crying. Finally got him off about five. I warmed up his milk. Crumb with about an eight fin. <laughs> Out like a light, and he's well angry this morning. <laughs> Oh, my days! He said his first word. Dada! I couldn't believe it! Looking at me with his big eyes. Dada! Dada! What a feeling! I mean, what'd you say to that? I, I don't know where he is, mate. <laughs> You're talking to Jason Bent. Jason, bad defeat today. Yeah, very disappointing today, Mark, for the players, the manager, the football club, but above all, for the fans. Uh, unlike the rest of us, they actually give a shit. <laughs> Surely. I think I think it's pretty much saying stuff that players want to say sometimes, but they can't say. And also, look at the sponsors. Zuccarade. That's instead of Lucozaid. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Surely this piles pressure on the manager. No, that's not true at all, Mark. The gaff's doing an outstanding job. Lads are 110% behind him. He's got the full sport to everyone at his football club. I'm sorry, Jason. Uh, we've just heard the manager's contract has been terminated. Well, that's fantastic news, Mark. <laughs> Definitely time for that twat to go. And apparently, Marco Di Gianni is in the frame for the job. That's terrific news for this football club. That will give all the lads a much needed boost. There's no reason now why we can't challenge for the big prizes next season. He certainly got my full backing. Uh, do you think he's got enough experience for the job? Um, to be fair, I've never heard of him. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Cheers. You know what? England's amazing, isn't it? It's like a cultural melting pot. I mean, you can get people from 20 different countries all in about a one lorry. <laughs> I reckon we get the best of everything out for you. Transport, we must have the greatest rail replacement bus service in the world. <laughs> Even the weather's getting better thanks to global warming. I'm sick and tired of people always banging on about the environment, turning off your lights, help save the world. Bollocks, I tried it once, killed a cyclist. <laughs> Turn off your light, not when you're driving. Oh, God. <laughs> You're a cyclist. Talking to Jason Bent. Well, Jason, nil-nil, not the result you're after, but can you tell us something about the shirts you and the team put on at the end of the game? Yeah, um, educate, don't educate. <laughs> uh, as part of the club's campaign to get kids enthusiastic about education, helping them realise school's really important. Um, I left school when I was eight. And, uh, <laughs> And I'll make 96 grand a week. I'll be nothing without my education. <laughs> so, <laughs> what does the campaign involve, Jason? Part of it's to get kids into reading. I uh, realise books really broaden your mind. Um, I've just started reading Mr Tickle. <laughs> um, he loves tickling people. It's a great read. And you've uh, just returned from a club trip to uh, coach kids in Malawi. 
I think it was actually to Africa, Mark. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, real life. <laughs> Malawi is in Africa, for fuck's sake. He goes, no, it's actually in Africa. Oh, God. This geezer, why am I just seeing this geezer now? And I love football sketches. I love stuff like this. Oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I open her, the, the poverty, the overcrowding, the smell. I'm never flying economy again. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Cheers. Oh, my gosh, yesterday. I got tasered. I went up this cop on horseback. I says, mate, can I take your photo? I ain't never seen a pig on an horse before. <laughs> 30,000 volts right at me. What a rush. Bounced straight back up. Is that all you got, mate? Is that all you got? It weren't. He had rubber bullets. <laughs> I I'm sick of the way the police treat me different every time I get in trouble. Like a few weeks ago, yeah, had this fight, beat up a white geezer, they done me for ABH. A few days ago, I had a fight, beat up this black geezer, they done me for impersonating a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Be here with Jay. For impersonating a police. I love that head. Oh, this guy is good. He's good. He is good. What's his name? Simon Brocken. I, I gotta find him. I gotta find him. I gotta do way more Simon Brocken. This geese is good. Very, very good. I absolutely loved it. From the beginning to the end, my cheeks are absolutely killing me. The football sketches, mwah, even the normal day geese up. That was very good. If you guys wanna see more, you know what to do. Comment down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.